problem number one, what is the expression for the complex number 3 plus J4 in phasor or polar form? Well, 3 plus J4 represents a complex number, real axis 3, imaginary axis 4. We can see that the magnitude will be 5. That's obtained by taking the square root of the sum of the squares. And that would be the length of the vector or the phasor. The angle, the angle theta, would be obtained by taking the angle whose tangent is equal to 4 over 3, which is the same as the angle whose sine is equal to 4 over 5, which is the same as the angle whose cosine is equal to 3 over 5. So any one of these would give you the result that theta is equal to 53.13 degrees. So the answer is 3 plus J4 is equal to 5 at an angle of 53.13 degrees. So our answer would be D, part D. Problem number two, what is the work required to move a positive charge which has a 10 Coulomb charge in it, a distance of 5 meters in the same direction as a uniform field, so there's an E field in this direction, and the field is 50 volts per meter. Well, the work is calculated from an equation which is also readily given in the handbook by taking minus Q1 times the integral of E along the length of the path as we integrate from R1 to R2. Well, in our case, uh, this simply becomes minus Q1 E and it's simply the length of the path. We're going from 0 to 5 meters. So this will be simply Q1 E times D. It's a fairly simple linear problem. So this now becomes equal to, well, Q1 has um, a charge. It's minus 10 coulombs. The E field is 50 volts per meter. And the distance is equal to 5 meters. So when we multiply these together, we get minus 2,500 joules. Minus 2,500 joules. So the answer would be C. Answer is C, minus 2,500 joules.